Hello, my name is Patrick Sweeney. I'm a visual effects director of photography at Industrial Light and Magic. What you're looking at right now are the original storyboards for the saucer crash sequence in Star Trek Generations. As you can see, this is where the saucer section separates from the main body of the ship. A warp core breach has forced the evacuation of the crew into the saucer, which escapes the immediate danger, but ultimately crashes on a planet. The storyboards shown here represent the original concept of the sequence to be filmed. In the course of refining the movie, these particular scenes were compressed into fewer shots than you see here. To create the crash sequence, we mounted the saucer section of the Enterprise on a motion control model mover and filmed it in several passes with a motion control camera crane. The first pass is a matte pass. The ship is evenly lit so that all of its edges show clearly against a blue screen. The blue screen will eventually be removed and replaced with a background. The second pass is an interactive light pass of the leading edge of the ship. This will be used to isolate the area of the ship that overheats as the ship hurtles through the atmosphere. The third pass is the beauty pass. We give the ship its look for the scene. I rake the sunlight across the saucer to accentuate its shape and highlight the miniature's wonderful detail and paint job. The final pass is an internal light pass which illuminates all the windows in the saucer. These tiny lights add depth as well as scale to the miniature. We can easily combine these four passes together because they've all been shot with the same repeatable motion control rig. Thus, they all have the same timing and will blend together seamlessly. Our first rough comp contains everything we need to place the ship into the shot. We'll spend some time refining the look of the ship, determining how it best will blend into the scene. Next, we have the background elements. These will include fiery effects on the leading edge of the ship, a matte painting of the planet, the atmospheric glow around the planet, and any light effects on the planet's surface. The next event is a saucer plunging toward the surface of the planet. We start off the construction of this shot with our planet background. For this, our first element is a still photo of a nice sunny blue sky with clouds we will have our ship emerge from. Since we are manufacturing this shot from a combination of elements, it doesn't matter if we use a live action plate or a still image. For our jungle foreground, we're using a still image from a matte painting. Black and white image is a matte of our foreground, which was generated to be able to insert the sky and ship into our shot. We can now take these three elements and rough comp them together. In the final comp, we'll add some real trees and add some motion to the clouds. We now need to add the ship into the shot. You can see the ship is further away in this scene than in the previous one. And as you look at the map pass, this will allow us to hold out the sky area where we want to place the ship. The second pass you're seeing is the beauty pass. Notice the lighting change in the middle of the shot, indicating where the ship exits the clouds. We're skipping the internal light pass because we determined that the sunlight would overpower and wash out the window lights. With the planet elements, and now the ship elements, we have everything we need for a rough comp of the entire shot. Once we're happy with the way all the elements line up, we'll proceed to the final comp. We now see the effect of the trees added in the foreground that are blowing in the wind and the clouds moving across the sky. This motion adds life and gives the scene the realism that was missing with elements that were completely still. See how well the saucer interacts with the clouds because of the lighting change added in the beauty pass. Finally, you'll see how these shots played in the feature film with all the ship animation, mats, light passes, and extra elements added.